Welcome to Apuntes de Español. In today's lesson, we are going to study the regular verbs in the present tense. To follow the lesson, please download the materials that you can find below in the description. Let's start. In Spanish, there are some verbs that do not follow the regular conjugation patterns in the present tense. These are called irregular verbs. Some common irregular verbs in the present tense include ser, ir, estar, tener, and hacer. There are five different kinds of irregular verbs. Let's study them. In Spanish, stem changing verbs with the pattern e to ie are a group of verbs where the stem vowel e changes to ie, as you can see right here in this part of the worksheet. In all forms, except the nosotros and vosotros forms of the present tense. These stem changing verbs are also called boot verbs. We will see why in a second. They undergo a particular pattern of conjugation in the present terms. This pattern affects the stem of the verb in all forms except the nosotros and vosotros forms. The name boot verbs comes from the fact that if you were to graph the conjugations on a chart, they would resemble a boot shape, as you can see in this picture right here. Inside of the boot, we're going to have the forms of the verb of the verb that we are going to conjugate. Yo cierro, tú cierras, el cierra. Notice, please, that we are replacing the E for IE. Outside the boot, we don't apply that change. We keep the stem as it is. In this case, the verb cerrar, in English, to close will keep the stem C-E-R-R cer therefore it will be nosotros cerramos and vosotros cerráis and then back to the boot inside the boot we have the last one ellos cierran or ellas cierran or ustedes cierran please draw in your notebook your favorite boot to remember this concept. Create a new box, split it in six parts, and draw a boot in the first person, second person, third person, and also third person plural. Stop the video to do all that. So, in order to conjugate the present irregular verbs that are staying changing and they have the change that goes from E to IE, we are going to do as follows. As we can see in this example, the verb to close in Spanish, cerrar, is going to have the E changed to a IE. So we're going to have two stems. One is going to be cerrar, that we will use in the we and you all forms of the verb, first person, sing, first person plural, sorry, and second person plural. And we will have this new stem that will be cier, since we are changing the E to IE, in the other forms of the verb in the first person singular, second person singular, third person singular, and third person plural. That's why we are drawing the boot, to remember in what, are, in what forms we change the stem. Okay? Now, the only thing that we will have to do next after using the regular stem 
is adding the endings for AR ending variables that we have studied before. As you probably know, if you can just stop the video and do that before me, they are O, AS, A, AMOS, AIS, AN. So we'll be just basically adding the new stem, the irregular stem, plus the ending. Therefore, we have here cierro, or cierras, or cierra. And that's exactly the exercise that we are going to do right here, in this below, okay? In the same worksheet. Please notice that in the description, I am sharing with you the answers to the exercise or exercises that I'm proposing you. So please, feel free to download it and check after the responses that you created. Muy bien. So in this exercise, I am proposing to only find the yo form of the verbo. The, the yo form of the verb. For that, translate the verb to close will be cerrar. We work with that one in the example. The stem is going to be cier. And the ending is going to be O. O. We are always working with the yo form. Okay? So we always are going to add the O at the end of the conjugated verb. To start, which is comenzar. We will replace the E in the stem for IE. Then I have to say co mienz and now adding again the one for yo, which is O. So comienzo. We can say em comenzar, but also to start is empezar. Doing the same. We will replace that E for IE and then again the ending O. Another example is the one for to wash the plates. In this case, it's going to be fregar. And then frieg. Oh, friego. 